Hi everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here from Alternative Brewing. And we're taking a look at the elegant range of medium-sized Tiamo cold drip coffee brewers. And we're gonna demonstrate how easy it is to make cold brew coffee. The Tiamo cold drip towers are the perfect eye-catching centerpiece for your kitchen or cafe setting. And it's often the catalyst for people to begin drinking cold brew coffee. Cold drip coffee is known for having less acidity and bitterness and is smoother to drink than coffee brewed hot. And these cold drippers can also be used to make cold drip tea with similar results. Each of these Tiamo drippers has different overall capacities to them. On my right, we have the 10 cup versions, which hold one liter of water, the HG6333 and the HG2605. And on my left here are the two six cup versions, which both hold 600 milliliters of water, with the HG2713 with a square base and the HG2714 with the circular base. Now all the glass used in Tiamo drippers is quality, heat proof treated glass. And there are three main components with the drippers. Up top, we have the water vessels. And attached to this is Tiamo's own metal faucet that precisely controls the drip rate of the water onto the bed of coffee. So below this is the coffee basket, which holds a maximum of 100 grams of coffee. With the HG6333 and HG2605, that's a stainless steel basket. And with the HG2714 and 13, this is made from glass. And below this is the large serving carafe, and that will slowly fill up with your cold drip coffee. And this all sits within a sturdy wooden or metal frame. Now it's a very easy process to begin making cold drip coffee. To get started, all you need is cool filtered water and coffee, ground to about a medium coarseness, which is a little coarser than brown sugar, to allow for the water to pass easily through the coffee. And to get best consistent results, I will fill up both the water vessel and the coffee basket full to get the right brew ratios. So place your grinds into the filter basket and add a small amount of water into the bed of the coffee first to prepare your brew. Then add a paper filter on top of your grinds to help disperse the drips. So you don't get splashes of grounds up the sides of your basket and it will evenly disperse the water across the coffee bed to avoid channeling of the water. Next, place water in your water vessel, making sure that you have your dripper closed before you fill up the top of the tank. And once that's done, all you need to do is open the tap to begin brewing. And we're aiming for a drip rate just under a drip a second. And you can simply check this by timing one minute to count how many drips there was. And it's best to begin a little fast with your drips then a little slow, as the drip rate will slightly slow over time. But you can always come back and check after a few moments. So as a general rule, the longer the overall brew time, the stronger your brew will be. These drippers will take a minimum of three to five hours to finish a complete brew. And you can have yourselves a good strong cup of drip coffee to keep in the fridge for up to two weeks and enjoy it over ice, diluted down with water or add your favorite milk for a tasty iced latte. In cleaning the units, you just wanna rinse everything under warm water after every use and place it back together dry for next time. And that's the Tiamo cold dripper range for you. Stunning to look at, you'll also enjoy the coffee free of harsh bitterness with the convenience of having coffee ready to drink in the fridge. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that bell icon and subscribe so you can get notified when we bring out videos just like this one each week. Until then, see you next time.